What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Chiefs Priority here with another banger video. And basically, what we're going to be getting into is why the NFL is about to literally explode because of the Kansas City Chiefs. Once again, and why the Kansas City Chiefs are going to make the NFL regret letting them do this, man. So if y'all enjoy my content, like, subscribe. I'm very tired right now, but I had to get y'all a banger video real fast. So, Justin Ross, man. We're going to bring up Justin Ross first. First of all, you can't forget about Justin Ross. I understand he had a lot of injuries last year. And a lot of people aren't high on him no more. But you still got to give Justin Ross a chance, man. He's a 6'5 receiver. I think 6'4 or 6'5 receiver who has a knack for high high point catches. He's a red zone target, red zone threat. He could catch very well. He has an okay route tree. And he has a lot of potential. So I have a lot of faith in Justin Ross. And I actually have a feeling that he could be a very good player. And that Andy Reid could find a way to make him useful in this Chiefs offense. A lot of Chiefs fans expected MVS to be that dude to catch the jump balls, that tall, big, physical wide receiver. But MVS is like Quentin Johnson. He's big, but he doesn't play well his size, right? So, yeah, Justin Ross, man, that would be a very good weapon to have in the red zone. I think Andy Reid could definitely find a way to um, make him usable. And if even if we can't find a way... Worst case scenario, maybe we can move him to tight end. I don't know. I don't think he's willing to do it, but he seems like a type of guy that'll do it. We'll give him a little bit of pounds and move him to tight end. Let's get into Rasheed Rice. Now, oh yeah, I say move him to tight end. That's when Kels retired. So let's get into Rasheed Rice. So now he's 6'1, 204. Um, he has big hands. He has a long wingspan. He had 96 receptions, 1,555 yards with 10 TDs. He averages like 14 yards per route. So I think Rasheed Rice is a very good player, and I got a feeling that he could thrive in the Chiefs' offense. He definitely could thrive in the Chiefs' offense to be that possession wide receiver, that replacement for Juju, but it's a younger, more explosive version that could go up there and jump for the ball. And he could also be a deep threat at times. But I feel like in the first year, I don't think Andy Reid's going to really use him. But he might. We got to see. But that's probably going to be like a receiver for like in the long run. And let me just show you all his RAS score real quick. I can see right here he has a very good RAS score. And I'm really excited for Rasheed Rice. I think he's pretty good. He's a very good player. And I think that Juju role is going to be good for him. And him thriving in the Chiefs off his first year, hopefully. I want that. I deserve that. And I need that. And all of us Chiefs fans need that, man. So that will definitely be good. Let's get into the next player. Um, Daenerys Prince. That was another person I liked for this offense. I think he's going to be hella good behind Pacheco. People saying he's just mid, but come on, bro. That's what y'all saying about Pacheco, right? Oh, this kid has no numbers. Well, it's always not about numbers. First of all, you got a good running back coach like us, and you have Andy Reid, who's a very good coach, and Andy Reid knows how to play in the trenches, and he he knows how to get these running backs involved. Now, Eric B. Enemy, that might be, that, that might be hard to lose because Eric B. Enemy did a good job with the running plays, but I expect Nagy to pick up on that. And, um... I think Daenerys Prince could be just as good as Pacheco. Not well, not just as good, but like not too far off from Pacheco. So like I said, they'll really help each other because they're coming from a similar situation. And then the next player we're gonna go with is Warren Morris. Yeah, let a dude from OKU, that's a very good school with who only allowed one sack and now he's on the Kansas State Chiefs with a very good O line coach and a very good athletic, young, talented offensive line. So, man, this is about to be crazy in the Chiefs, man. I don't know how they keep pulling this off, the magic they've been working. But it's like these dudes just not going to slow down. Yeah, I got to stop doubting the Kansas City Chiefs. This wasn't my best vid. I'm very tired. I'm very, very tired. But I got to get out y'all some content. And I try to say as much things as possible and make everything make sense. So, yeah, boy, Chiefs Priority, I'm out, man. Peace. Like, subscribe, hit that bell. Thank you. I love all y'all. And keep showing love, man. Peace.